And it's with the service of our armed forces we end tonight. This Sunday marks a century since the end of the First World War, when we will remember the millions of men who died fighting for their country. And while there were, of course, women who served, often as nurses or in factories, doing so on the front line was strictly off limits. That is but for one British woman whose service is remembered in Serbia, the country where she fought, who is virtually unknown back home. The history of those who fought in World War I is a history of fighting men. But almost unknown in Britain today, there was a British woman who fought on the front lines in some of the most brutal battles of the war. Her name is Flora Sands, and she fought for Britain's ally, Serbia, on the Balkan front. Flora had dreamed ever since she was a child of being a soldier. She was very, very tough. Originally a nurse, she wanted to fight and the Serbs needed fighters. They really needed any competent person who was able to help them. Really, man or woman, um, almost boys as well, were in the army. Anybody who had a degree of competence, and Flora was very competent. And they were happy to have a woman fighting alongside them on the front line? They were. What's rather interesting, she didn't disguise herself as a man. She was there as a woman, um, but they, they, called her, they called her brother. Horribly wounded, leading an attack against the Bulgarian army, Flora Sands became a heroine to the Serbs, a symbol that the rest of the world had not forgotten them. It is a testament to the regard in which the Serbs still hold Flora Sands that they have named this street after her here in the capital, Belgrade. And it's not just that she was a foreign woman who came here to fight for them on the front line, but that she was a genuine war hero. The medal she won that day was Serbia's highest, their equivalent of the Victoria Cross. Britain's defence attaché in Belgrade wonders why her valour is remembered by so few in her home country. People start asking the questions why people like Flora Sands are well known. Yes, they didn't fight on the Western Front, um, but this is a forgotten front. Throughout the First World War, there weren't that many men with as distinguished a war record as Flora Sands. Correct, they weren't. She is a huge personality here for that reason. Uh, and the fact that she's British adds that fascinating twist to it. In a church in her home village of Milesford in Suffolk, Flora's great-nephew showed me the only British memorial to her. We now have a plaque full of Flora herself. Okay. I mean, she was an extraordinary woman and she was a very much a one-off. She didn't want to sit at home and have cups of tea and needlework and that. She wanted to go out and hunt and ride and shoot and... Proper a, action woman. And, yeah, be a boy, a real tomboy, a real tomboy. A hundred years later, women are still battling to be allowed fully to fight alongside men. And when they do, they will be following in the footsteps of Flora Sands, a remarkable pioneer soldier. James Mates News at 10, Belgrade. And so, as we count down to the 11th of November, tonight, once again, as they will every night until Sunday, 10,000 torches have been lit at the Tower of London, whilst at the National Memorial Arboretum, more than 18,000 crosses, each and every one bearing a personal message to someone that fought and died serving their country a century ago. That's it.